it's Tracy. Listen here, you'll be taking orders from me now. And I've got a baffling one for you. Murder in Hollywood, or should that be homicide? One of the biggest film directors of his day, shot dead. Victim's name, William Desmond Taylor. Trouble is, no one knows who pulled the trigger. I'm signing you to the case. Pack your bags. Your flight leaves this afternoon. Gatwick Airport, where the detective is boarding a budget flight for Dublin. to Dublin. Uh, here we go, Gate 14. Our deceased director may have met his maker in Hollywood, but he was born in the Emerald Isle. After my little detour, I was driving through the rain to Carlo. Welcome to County Carlo. What clues would I find there? It doesn't say birthplace of murdered film director. Arriving in the small town of Carlo, I had an appointment with Mark Ivan O'Gorman. This is technically the sunny southeast. <laughs> now don't laugh. That's our no, that's our slogan. Mark Ivan runs an annual festival devoted to the films of the slain director. Is Taylor's story a rather dramatic story? Do people around here know it? By and large, no. It happened so long ago and so far away. But with so many questions unanswered. Mark Ivan agreed to share with me his idea about who done it. The kiss of death theory. Tantalising title. And the star of this plotline, 19-year-old Mary Miles Minter. A former child actress who'd become fanatical about the 49-year-old Taylor. She fell in love with him. Her own father wasn't on the scene, so she had daddy issues. And she had a reputation of either falling for her older director or being exploited by her older director. The theory goes, Mary is at her wit's end. It's an unrequited relationship between herself and Taylor. She leaves the house with the gun to emotionally blackmail Taylor. She goes to his house and goes, I'm going to kill myself unless you run away with me. He somehow talks her down. She throws her arms around him and the gun accidentally goes off. The gun goes off, she panics and leaves. Her whereabouts are not accounted for at that time. And it's also kind of convenient that her mother and the district attorney are very close friends. And, and her mother owned a gun almost identical to the one Taylor was shot with. And do we know what happened to the gun? The gun was taken back by the granny when it was thrown in a river. Yeah. Off a bridge, I hope. <laughs> Off a bridge and into a river. It yeah. seemed like the perfect Hollywood scenario. The jealous younger lover. The murder weapon hurled to the bottom of a river. The kiss of death theory had everything going for it. Except... Do, do we know that Mary Miles Minter was in the house that night? And uh, No, we don't know she was in the house that night. There was no confession of guilt from Mary Miles Minter. She didn't... No, she doesn't ever admit it. The kiss of death theory is just that. A theory. Minter might be in the frame, but I can't cut and print that. OK, so you can go straight on now and we'll go out the road. Uh... Establishing shot of a car driving out into the Irish countryside. I think it's either... Mark yes. Ivan had promised to show me the house where Taylor was born. Be back there. I think we've... Should I turn around? I think we have passed... It's not exactly on the tourist map. Either one of those two buildings. After a few U-turns, we headed up an unmade track completely unsignposted except for guard dogs beware of guard dogs never encouraging finally a long way from the main road we arrived at the house that wisteria hanging over the front of this 19th century building beautiful canopies of trees it's just a very typical sort of large house that you see dotted all over Ireland and sort of place that a lot of Taylor's father's ilk would have lived in this was where William Tanner, the future William Desmond Taylor, had been born into minor gentry. His father was in the military, but Taylor himself never served. After his departure for America at the turn of the new century, he never returned to Ireland. Taylor's birthplace was idyllic. 
but it was also private property and I couldn't help noticing an abandoned car in the corner of the garden. That's the last BBC yeah, that's the came. radio documentary that tried to... That's a vehicle. I drove back down the narrow lane only to find a car coming the other way. I, yeah, I don't I know these people. Around, I can't go back. If they asked me what I was doing there, what was I supposed to say? Hello, I'm investigating a murder. Cuts to later that afternoon. We are walking into George Bernardshaw Theatre. Having avoided blowing my cover, I decided to do what they do in the movies and lie low in a cinema. Look at Soul of Youth. By astonishing coincidence, the matinee performance was a William Desmond Taylor flick. Titles. Here's the cast. And a dramatic affair it was too. Another dark night and the time has come for fulfilling the bargain. This woman is selling her baby. What was Taylor's stature in Hollywood? Was, was, was he considered a front rank director? Yeah, I, I think he was. He was involved in setting up the Motion Pictures Directors Association, which would become the Directors Guild. Now, this whole film is about this the unwanted youth, and we're going to see how he is going to progress through life. Does it end badly? No. So it all comes out fine in the end. I'm pleased about that. The on-screen melodrama had a happy ending, unlike the story of its director. 